Hello and welcome to Kicked Play Studio Tutorials. In this series of tutorials, we're going to discover the DAS Studio and currently we're going using DAS Studio 4.7 Pro application. So we'll go ahead and overview interface, how to um, access some properties and features. If you do not have a DAS Studio install on your system, you can go into the das3d.com the website you can go inside the shop and downloading for free application there the currently does studio 4.7 it's a three door download and it's actually a full application so what is meaning by a full application it's mean you can um, upload it object scenery render morph and modify so in some cases those people who are familiar with the poser they find um that studio very uh, well, it's kind of similar ways to do, except it's provided in some cases more flexibility and more in-depth tools to work with. So also, as we're going through all scenery, creating and modifying some properties, uh, I'm going to use actually click action. However, I will highly suggest for you to go and learn how to use shortcuts the time saver and if you just learn one shortcut a day adventure in 30 days you will learn almost the most um, necessary shortcut to perform fast um, work in that studio again for purpose of these tutorials i want to use it shortcuts i will just use it menu navigations or click directly inside the interface the other suggestions is also going with this as we're going to work through the interface, I show you how you can manage and modify it, but I will highly suggest do not change your interface or customize too much, at least at the beginning, because may, you probably will go and look other tutorials or maybe follow this tutorial. And you'll notice sometimes we're going in specific area. And if you customize your interface, it maybe will have a little bit harder way to find your way around, follow the tutorials. And if you do modify interface, you always can save and restore the original point. I'll show you a way to access in next tutorials. And next suggestion for you is using install manager for your content. It will help you to place in right areas and managing. So you don't need to go to the website to download the whole time. As example, right here is my um, install manager. And I'm going to just installing right now some properties so you can see. I have a lot of products in my library. And I can select, specify one of the I want install. When it's ready, download it, it's tell me what place and why I want to install it so you can easy to navigate and manage. And also showing some products that already install it. Again, it's much more easier and safer way to control um, areas where you are uploaded and also the products. Um, the reason because it may be stored in different directories like in my cases if i go to content library and you notice i also have a poser and i have it some poser pro 2010 and 14 different files and then different directory and sometimes it can be confusing between look for the content in one area and another one by providing the install manager they have it control and help organize the links and directions inside it's make much more easy Beside that, in uh, when we're going over the our file content, you'll notice how interlinking inside this library or reference to the parents to use in other files, they're very sophisticated. And again, the install manager will handle this very well. So let's go ahead and start first overview our interface. 